Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about my favorite drugstore picks. So this week I did an Instagram live. That is where you like go over, talk about your like favorite items. And then because it is on Amazon live, you can like highlight the products you're talking about, making like the viewership and like the shopping experience easier. I've done one on self care products. I've done another in all things hair from like toners to masks. So this week when I announced my Instagram stories that I was going to be doing my favorite drugstore makeup items, I actually had a lot of you guys join. And for those that weren't able to join, I had a lot of messages saying that you wish I had done this on YouTube instead. So it's like, do I want to essentially film the same video over again? But it's been a while since we've talked about makeup on this channel and I figured, why not? So I've got a whole tray here. Um, basically everything that I'm gonna be talking about, these are products that I've accumulated over time and that I've been using for years and absolutely love. So this is not like a, I had to do a face full of drugstore products and went out and like bought this whole collection of stuff and it's like, it works, but it's not necessarily my favorite. Everything here that I'm gonna be talking about today has replaced an expensive version of, of the same product. So for some, I will actually have the dupe, like including the expensive product and the drugstore product. But for a lot of these, I don't own the more expensive version because I love the drugstore one better. Also, I'd like to state that I am filming in my pajamas. It's been a long day and it's been a very busy week. And normally I refrain from saying that because I feel like I'm being a downer or like I'm complaining. I'm not, I love what I do. I love coming on here talking to you guys, but I always feel more pressure when I'm talking about hair because I'm a hairdresser, but I always feel like makeup is just more like just chill and I'm hanging out with the best friend. So just before we get into exploring all the makeup items, I just wanted to let you know, I will leave a link to this live video. I did include a little bit more in the live video, um, meaning like if for one category, I had like three, like say for mascara, I had more than one. In this video, I'm gonna stick to kind of like one item kind of for each category, except for one category, maybe. Just now, if you are interested in watching that video um, that was live, you can go ahead and do that. It is an hour long, so it's a lot. But I've really been working hard on curating and really putting together my Amazon shop. Basically what that is, is everything that I've like bought, um, I've organized it into categories. I just feel being on social media, anytime that some, like I show something and someone's like, where did you get that? It's just a much easier way. And because everything is categorized, it is so much easier for me to go in and find the link and share that with you guys. So not only will I include the link to this live video, I will also include the link to my Amazon shop. So if I ever mention something or whether on my Insta stories or here, that's probably one of the first places I would check. All right, let's get into the makeup. All right, so the first one we're gonna be starting off with is this contour cream palette. So my drugstore favorite for this one is the CoverGirl True Blend. I was actually sent this in PR probably five years ago. I've probably gone through, I wanna say five or six of these at least. I do get them on Amazon in packs of three. I can't seem to find it anywhere else, but it is the most beautiful contour shade. I've done a video on like the correct way to contour your nose. And everyone always writes me on how easy that tutorial is and how easy it is to use this product. Not only the consistency in the formulation, but the color, it's just, it's perfection. And I got this Tom Ford contour palette because I thought the compact was beautiful. If I'm being honest, normally when I buy more like designer high-end makeup, I'm getting it for the color. It is a great color. It's great for like cheek contouring, but if you really wanna contour like your nose or like your jawline or something like that, I feel like this one's a little too warm and I like warm on my face. So this is just the perfect neutral contour shade. It just is. And this is, I believe, under $6. And I think this one is like around 70. All right, the next one is concealer. I was obsessed with the NARS Creamy Concealer. What I got really annoyed by was I felt like I was buying it like every two weeks. I feel there is very little product in each tube. And then everyone was talking about the NYX HD Concealer. 
had to try it out and I swear it's like an exact dupe for the NARS Creamy Concealer. It's great finish, the same or less creasing than the shirt, the shirt, <laughs> the Tarte Shape Tape. And they have a good range of colors and tones. Um, but yeah, it's just, again, I believe this one's probably under five or six bucks and it's incredible. All right, next we're gonna go into blush and this is the category where I have a couple. And I've, I've definitely owned a couple of more high-end blushers, but again, nothing is, first of all, nothing is better than the Luminoso. I mean, this shade is perfection. The fact that it is so flattering on so many skin tones, um, they do have other shades, of course, but I mean, it's just, it's, I've already hit pan on this one. Um, and I've, I don't know. I've probably gone through 10 of these in my lifetime, but packaging is great. It's not super fancy, but it works. Color, gorgeous. And there's the Physician's Formula Butter Blush. And this one is a lot more like creamy and kind of not shimmery because I hate shimmer on the face, but it has that like sheen that gives you almost like a glow from it then. I actually like to use this one almost as like a pinky highlighter on top of the other blush. It definitely has like a rosy tint, so it's not like a highlighter highlighter, but it's just so finely milled. It smells amazing, and I feel like the packaging for this one is really cute. And then lastly is this Milani. And the reason why I added this one as well, because I love a cheek product that has a gradient of colors. I love swirling the blush kind of how I'm feeling that day. If I want something a little more subtle, I stick more to the top where it's lighter. Depending on what I'm wearing, depending on how I'm feeling, I love when compacts do that. It also, I feel like gives almost like a, not only more personalized, but slightly kind of like different shade or hue. And I feel like that has a much more like a natural kind of you know, warmth from within kind of finish. And I love that. Formulation is great. Again, has that like beautiful sheen, but is not shiny or shimmery. Obviously can't go on without talking about the butter bronzer. I feel this physician's formula product when it came out, everyone just went crazy over it. And a fun fact about me, the first bronzer I ever purchased was a physician's formula bronzer. It was before they had this packaging. The smell of this butter bronzer is incredible. It just takes you on a vacation. Again, it's just great, great bronzer. If you're looking to spice up your cheeks, <laughs> try this out. All right, next one is foundation. And in my opinion, funny a good complexion product that is drugstore is the trickiest part. Like I said earlier, I feel like I normally like for eyeshadows and stuff like that, if I buy more high end, I'm buying it for the color. But I always think for skin complexion products, you really want that poreless, like porcelain, beautiful sheen kind of finish. And I've always thought, well, in order to get that, you need to spend good money to get a good product. And the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation is, one of the, it's probably in my opinion, the best drugstore foundation, period. I compare it a lot to the Dior Forever Skin. They both have that um, kind of like dewy from within kind of finish. Now, I know you're probably like, well, those are two completely different shades. And I will explain why I bought this foundation. Um, first of all, it's because of the finish and I knew that it was like hydrating and kind of like dewy finish. So I actually bought this. I bought, again, so many bottles in this shade, but I use this for my legs. And because I was like, oh, if I'm using it for body, like I don't want to get something super expensive. I just want to get something that's really dewy. And a lot of my friends had recommended that this one was like super dewy. So I was like, that's perfect for like a leg finish. But if you ever have like anything that you want to cover up on your legs, or you just want that like perfect model leg, because there's no other way to describe it. Just a beautiful, like almost mannequin looking leg. And I know KKW Beauty has come out with like the whole body makeup. I love that idea, but I don't want my skin to, 
I don't want all of my skin to just be completely covered in product to where I feel like I'm like sticky. So I like a very light, light layer. I feel like with the KKW Beauty, I feel like the finish is beautiful, but it definitely feels like I have a thick layer of product on. The Forever Dior Skin is, is great. It's a great foundation, but for the price, this one wins by a landslide. Okay, next product I wanna talk about is brushes. Like, I'm not a makeup artist, so I'm not like an expert on makeup brushes, but I know what I like reach for constantly and I know what I love. And the Sonia Kashuk, Kashuk? I mean, we've all seen this line at like Target and obviously other drugstores, but it is just such a high quality, well-built brush. I love this brush so much. The last time that I was in New York, when I came back home, I couldn't find it. And I was like going crazy. I was like, oh my gosh, they probably discontinued that brush. I'll never find it again. And then I went back in my luggage and it was like in a little crease. I'd fallen out of my makeup bag and was just like swimming in my empty luggage. Um, so, so happy that I found it, but it's just, it's such a good brush. The bristles look brand new. It needs to get washed, but I've had this, no joke, probably like seven or eight years now. The little binding neck thing here is just good quality. The bristles don't shed. And the body of the brush is just, I don't know, like it feels woodsy almost. It feels like a good quality brush. Like this feels like a $50 brush. And then like just the little design element too, where it's like tapered and it has like a little gold stamp of, with the logo. It just, I always think like if I were to design brushes, like this is, it's just perfection. Um, it came in a pack of like other eye pencils. This is the only one that survived, but I will cherish this one <laughs> with my life. Um, this is another Sonia Kashuk brush. I use this one for bronzer. I love a slightly like tapered edge because I feel like I can press down to cover a bigger surface or I can kind of use just more the um, tip. Like I just, as opposed to like a flat brush for bronzer, I just, I think this is so much more like contouring to the cheek. But again, it just feels so luxurious. Very elaborate explanation on brushes, but um, I just think she makes one of like the best kind of affordable brushes. And I feel like there was a huge explosion with like Morphe brushes and like, oh, they're so great. And they're like, you know, not expensive. I think Sonia Kashuk is probably less expensive than Morphe. And in my opinion, a definitely higher quality. Now moving on to lip products. The NYX lingerie lip liners are just, they're such a good combo. Just realized I used the lip liner for like the lipstick. It's like a thick lip liner that goes um, with this same line at the NYX lingerie. I love the velvety finish. This shade is in Baby Doll. And I love this one paired with the corset uh, lip liner. All right, so I could not do a drugstore makeup favorites without mentioning a mascara. So I've tried many, many mascaras from like more medicated, which has like lash growing benefits to super high end to drugstore. The first makeup item I ever, you know, even put on my face was mascara, as probably most of us. The Maybelline Colossal Mascara, to me, will forever be the end all be all of a mascara. I love the wand, I love the formulation. Um, personally, I like a mascara that thickens my lashes. So for each strand of hair, it thickens it to like, give the illusion of like five hairs. Um, to me, that's more important than the length. And yeah, if you can get those amazing results with a far more affordable product, this, this is it. And yeah, that is all of my drugstore favorites. I do want to reiterate that literally everything, I'm actually looking, everything on this tray, I've owned and repurchased um, for at least two years, every single one of these products. And hopefully I have talked about a product here today that maybe you haven't tried and in an area or category that 
you're looking for something new. So, so yeah, please let me know if you liked this type of video. I actually was thinking about maybe doing something kind of similar for hair products, like a very authentic, like non-sponsored, um, kind of going over less expensive hair products kind of for each hair need that, you know, is at a good price point. So let me know if you guys would be interested in that. And yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thank you for joining me today. I know that there's a ton of incredible content out there. Thank you always for choosing mine. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.